Beijing's Winter Olympics kicked off today, but this year, the Biden administration has a diplomatic boycott going on. What does that really mean? First, have no fear, the boycott does not extend to Team USA. It just means that America will not be sending a high-level official delegation. Next, why is this happening? Well, the White House says it's because of China's ongoing genocide against its Uyghur minority and, quote, other human rights abuses. While Beijing's policies are often terrible, it's unclear how this boycott will meaningfully help the suffering Uyghurs. Third, China responded angrily, accusing the U.S. of politicizing sports, creating divisions, and provoking confrontation. Like it or not, Beijing isn't exactly wrong. What's really behind all this is a bipartisan decision to contain China and seek dominance in the Western Pacific. And finally, we've been here before. During the Cold War, both Washington and Moscow traded Olympic boycotts for the 1980 Moscow and 1984 LA Games. These reciprocal boycotts did absolutely nothing to change the opponent's policies and only heightened the hair-trigger tensions during a particularly tense period of the East-West struggle. Bottom line, this boycott is largely theater at a time when the actual threats to both American and global security, like pandemics, climate catastrophe, and avoiding nuclear war, require cooperation, or at the very least, coexistence. In other words, diplomacy.